Hello. I'd like to demonstrate a method for squaring up a foundation that is quite different from you probably have ever heard of. And most carpenters will typically use the 3-4-5 method, and that works pretty good. But I think I have a way to do it that is much better. So first of all, I will draw out a foundation to show you what I'm talking about here. And for these purposes, we're just going to call this 20 foot in this direction. And we'll go 20 foot in this direction. Okay, now what you want to do is check the dimensions of your foundation and make sure that it has the correct amount of which is 20 by 20 of course. And then we measure in five and a half inches here and here. Then you would snap a line across here. Okay. Now you've established a line parallel to the outside of the foundation. Then have a carpenter or your partner hold the five and a half inch mark on this chalk line and measure across until you hit 20 foot minus five and a half inches at both ends. Then you would snap another line. Okay. Now we've established our 20 foot wide building with our two chalk lines and everything is correct there. Okay. Now measure in five and a half inches from the outside of the wall here. So let's say that's right there. Hold the five and a half inch mark of your tape and pull across here 20 feet minus five and a half inches. Now you have those established. Then what you do is have your carpenter hold the end of your tape on that mark on that intersection and measure down this way and make a mark at anything you want. Let's, it doesn't matter. So just for ease, we'll just say 30 foot. Okay, then you have him hold the end of your tape right there, and you do exactly the same thing. And you make a mark at 30 feet where that intersects on the chalk line. And then you make a mark there. So now you have two marks. So... You measure in between these two marks. So let's just say that's 10 feet or 8 feet. doesn't really matter, whatever it is. So if that's 8 feet from there to there, then, of course, half that would be 4 feet. And you've now established a right angle from this over here. If you would, this is measuring from here to here, that's the center would be from there to there, 10 feet. Because that's half the distance of the building. And then if you was to measure in here to 10 feet, which is half the distance there, see you've created a right angle right there. Now, then you take your tape and you hold, the, you measure in 10 feet that way. That's your net minus five and a half inches. Now, you've established that line there. So then put the end of your tape on the five and a half inch mark and then measure across here until you hit 20 feet minus five and a half inches and you now have established a right angle on the outside edges there. Okay. So that method works pretty good, and I've never seen anybody else use it but me. 
and the guy that taught it to me many years ago. But that's a pretty good method because I, I like the fact that your chalk line is stable right here. It's, you snapped it and you snapped it here and there's no swinging a chalk line back and forth trying to line it up with a mark on your tape. You know, this is stationary, that's stationary, and then then and then your tape can just come across there and it just pick any mark you want. It doesn't matter. And then you've got it. <clears throat> Okay, I'll draw up a quick building here, or a wall. And let's say you have some piers for a deck you want to attach to the house. like that. What I would do is, you want this to say, maybe this, these piers, the deck to be whatever it may be, let's say that's 12 foot. Okay, make a mark here at 12 foot, make a mark here at 12 foot, and then I would snap a line across the top of the piers, just to make sure I'm making my mark in the right place, because a lot of times these piers are this way, this way, you know, and you, you can't just make a mark in the middle of a pier and expect your deck to be the same width. So, then I would level straight across to the house. Level across. And level across this way. And this is only going to work, of course, if your piers are the same height. If they're not, then you're going to have to adjust for it. I would, like if this pier was an inch higher than this one, I would hold my level in a straight edge and mark the edge of the pier. That way I would be measuring from the same elevation. So anyway, you measure across there, and then you're level from, these piers are all, now all leveled, to the building. Then I would snap a line on this wall, on the side of the wall, and then put the end of your tape on that mark you have right there, swing it across this way, and once again, it doesn't matter, you pick any measurement, we'll call it 12 feet. Then grab your end of your tape and put it on that mark again, Swing it across until you 12 foot intersects with the chalk line. And then measure between these two marks. Let's say that's six feet right there. So three foot would be center. Okay, then you're building your foundation is 10 feet across here. And then I would measure five feet that way. Make a mark on that chalk line on the wall. Then measure straight across from that mark back to here till you hit 10 feet. Then you have created a perfect square once again. It's a, it's a really good method. And a lot of times I'll see carpenters uh, holding a framing square and trying to line up a chalk line with the edge of their framing square. And they'll do all kinds of things, you'll see. Um, but this is by far the easiest method to do it. And I looked on YouTube, and I have not seen anyone else squaring up a building like this. And so I decided to put it up myself. And it really comes in handy. Over the years, I've taught other carpenters how to do it this way and without exception I've never seen one that has ever heard of it and they always love it and they never go back but if you have a foundation of your house and it's it changes in elevation like you're four feet high this way and you're dropped down two feet this method will still work but 
just to keep this video not too long, I will answer any comments on my channel and I will be able to help you out if you have any questions, all right? So thank you for watching.